What's going on you guys, Steven here from Airsoft Tech and today I'm bringing you guys another shooting test. I know I've been doing shooting tests back to back to back to back. Um, however, I wanted to finish out all my pistols that I have that I had to do shooting test videos for. And this is my very last pistol. This is the KWC Soft Air CO2 Gas Blowback Airsoft Pistol. This thing is absolutely huge. The blowback on it sounds amazing. It feels amazing. And everything about it just feels really high quality. And if you are interested in purchasing this gun, you guys, there will be a link down below to airspot.com where you can purchase is for around $110, so not too pricey at all. So anyways, what's going to be happening in this video, just like all my other shooting test videos, we're first going to start off with the Chronocraft uh, test. We're going to see how hot this gun is shooting. So I have my magazine loaded up with .20 gram BBs. As you can see, the BBs are loaded in right there, and it goes all the way down. And I also have a fresh CO2 cartridge in there, so we're going to be getting the most powerful shots out of it right off the bat. And once we get our results from the chrono test, we're actually going to be doing one more test because this gun has a fully automatic feature. So we're going to be seeing how many shots per second or how many shots per minute, whatever, RPM, um, we're going to be getting out of this pistol. However, I would recommend not using the full auto feature because the BBs kind of just spray all over the place. It's not really accurate. It's more of just a really fun uh, feature just to mess around with on your own time. But for this video, we'll test it out, see how many rounds are being put out of the barrel per minute and per second so once we get the FPS test or the results as well as the rounds per minute once we get the results of everything from the chrono test then we're gonna be going on to the accuracy test which is where we're gonna be shooting from two different distances I'm gonna set my target up on a box and then we're gonna be shooting at the first distance which is 45 to 55 feet and once we get our results from that distance then we'll move it back a little bit further to around I would say 65 to 75 feet so we're gonna push it back a little bit further for this pistol because this pistol is supposed to be shooting a lot stronger than all my other guns uh, but anyways once we get our results from the chrono test the accuracy test then we'll move on to the very last portion of the video which is the damage test and in that case just like all my other damage test videos I'm gonna find something to shoot at and just have a good time so anyways you guys I know I've been talking for quite a while now let's set the chronograph up and we'll see how hot this KWC soft air co2 gas blowback desert eagle is shooting all right so I have the Exotec x3200 year program for 0.20 gram BBs I have my magazine loaded up with 0.20 gram BBs as well as a fresh 12 gram co2 cartridge and I already went ahead put the magazine in the gun rock the slide back so we are ready to go so here we go let's take the very first shot and let's see how powerful the CO2 gas blowback desert eagle is so shot number one 347.6 357.1 there we go 346.3 353.4 334.3 starting to drop 339.3 326 329 let's just get a couple more in there 335 328.5 so really the most powerful shots which are obviously the first couple of shots were around the mid 340s uh, the high 340s to the mid to low 350s so you might want to be a little bit careful trying to use this in a CQB environment I'm not sure what type of field you guys go to and how strict the refs are are there and um, so it basically depends on what kind of fields you go to however uh, for outdoors you can definitely use this pistol it's pretty powerful for a pistol and uh, that's obviously because it's a desert eagle and it's running off co2 uh, so anyways though for the FPS readings I'm actually pretty impressed I didn't think it was gonna be this powerful I've actually never put this through the chronograph believe it or not um, so I'm actually pretty shocked by the readings however uh, we're gonna try and get a reading now for the actual fully automatic feature to try and get a rounds per second to see how many rounds are flying out of this Desert Eagle however I would recommend not even using the uh, fully automatic feature because the BB just spray all over the place it's really um, inaccurate it's just it's not good to use it's just basically a fun feature to use when you're in your backyard or if you want to show friends or just have a good time really but for actual game use I wouldn't recommend doing it at all I would just keep it on semi-automatic but anyways let's go ahead fill the magazine back up and we'll try and get a reading for the rounds per second and rounds per minute uh, with this Desert Eagle. Alright you guys, so we're actually moving on to the accuracy portion now. I do apologize, but I just couldn't get a accurate reading for the rounds per minute or rounds per second, the uh, rate of fire or whatever, because the kickback is just so powerful, I couldn't keep it steady for the BBs to actually go straight and to go through the chronograph to actually get a reading, so I do apologize about that you guys, it's just, I just can't do it really. So anyways, again, we are moving on to the accuracy portion now, so we're going back to the first distance, which which is around 45 to 55 feet and we will see how accurate this Desert Eagle is.
All right, so 45 to 55 feet, you guys, definitely not gonna have a problem reaching your target, obviously. And we did hit the target every single time. The accuracy or the groupings definitely aren't the best. However, they're definitely not the worst. We did hit the target every single time, and I know I say this in all my shooting test videos. I just wanna make sure you guys get an understanding of how big these targets are. It's basically the size of my hand, all right? So to hit a human-sized hand from 45 to 55 feet every single time, I'm not sure how many shots I took. I'm gonna see right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna say at least seven to eight shots, maybe nine at most. Um, and we hit it every single time. It's pretty amazing. So anyways, let's move it back a little bit further to around 55 to 65 feet, maybe pushing it to 70 feet, somewhere around there. And we'll see how accurate it is at that distance. All right, so 55 to 65 feet, you guys, still hitting the target every single time. We didn't miss a single shot. And again, size of a human hand, and to be able to hit it perfectly every single time, that's actually pretty amazing. All these pistols that I've tested out so far, um, I know I've done like three consecutive uh, shooting test videos now with all three pistols or whatever, um, and all of them have done pretty amazing uh, jobs. And maybe that's just because of my personal aiming or you know my shooting skills. I doubt it though. These pistols are they're just, they're just really amazing. I gotta say, and uh, the accuracy. Yeah, the groupings for this Desert Eagle aren't you know great. However, you hit the target every single time. We did not get a bullseye unfortunately, um, but again out of I think I shot maybe nine shots I don't really know maybe ten um, I wasn't really counting we still hit it 100% we didn't miss a single shot so anyways you guys let's move on to the last and final test which is the damage test so I'm gonna go get something from my house and we're gonna shoot it up and I hope you guys enjoy what I decide to shoot Alright you guys, so I just took the camera off the tripod and we just shredded these things up. They completely just exploded. All the grape soda just went everywhere. Uh, got all over my tripod, my camera. That's one reason why I don't like using sodas is because it makes such a mess. But we just made huge holes in these sun-kissed cans and uh, it smells really good out here. It smells like grape. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this shooting test video of the CO2 gas blowback Desert Eagle. I highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of Desert Eagles. They are just huge, they're powerful, the kick is amazing. Now, uh, let alone this thing has a fully automatic feature, so it's really fun to use. Uh, again, you guys, the link to this product will be down below in the description. So if you are interested in purchasing this, go ahead, click the link and add it to your cart and just buy it and get ready to have a lot of fun. But anyways, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video overall. If you did, don't be afraid to click that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.